we are very lucky to have all the microphones sounding lovely and crispy over here. Uh, oh. <laughs> anyway, welcome to this cafe. I'm going to just shout. We are very lucky to have been joined today by some of the performers from the Big Smoke Festival. Which is going to be at the Other Palace. And the curator of the festival is Ian. Hello, Ian. Hello. Hi, darlings. Hello. So just tell us a bit about it. Where did the idea come from? And what's happening? So I have been touring with my own cabaret show, um, Iconic, A Brief History of Drag, for the last year. I was in Australia, very, very bored in Adelaide. And I was coming back um, to go on my UK tour, but I wanted to do a date in London before I went on tour. And I thought, well, I wonder if there's a, a fringe festival that we can probably kind of hook it into. And then I realised there isn't one in London, which makes absolutely no sense. Edinburgh Fringe Festival, Adelaide and Perth are the three biggest festivals in the world. Adel um, Edinburgh, Adelaide, Perth in terms of size. And I just thought there's a big, massive gap in London for cabaret and fringe and, and variety and all those different things that aren't West End, but are great and alternative. So I just thought, well, someone's got to do it. So I'll, I'll just produce it forward slash curate it. Um, just so that I could do my show and my friends could do their show, um, some of which are going up to Edinburgh. So it's um, just a few weeks before, so people are kind of previewing the shows. But then also, like, putting on a cabaret for one night in a theatre can be a bit of a nightmare because the overheads for one night hiring any venue are uh, astronomical, whereas if you spread it out over a week, for those who like spreadsheets and accountants and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> it's a lot cheaper to put on Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them when they get it down to zero. But, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it can be very hard to produce um, a cabaret for yourself as an artist um, and kind of get it off the ground in London because the overheads are so high. But I just thought, well, did a little spreadsheet and I thought, well, if whack on 14 shows and those costs are suddenly spread out over 14 shows and it gives people the opportunity to be able to put on a show and not lose a fortune. Because usually, you, when I started out, I lost so much money because it just cost so much. So the idea being that it's a risk-free, safe environment at the wonderful The Other Palace Studio for great artists to put on a show and not be bankrupt. At the end of it. <laughs> and so obviously you've got a huge variety of different performers, some of whom happen to be here today. Hello! <laughs> so guys, do you want to introduce yourselves and just say what, what it is that you're going to do in the festival? Yeah, <laughs> we are one half of Ida, yeah. and we are a pop opera crossover, classical crossover group. There's actually four of us, hence being half. Yeah, and <laughs> then we are, we yeah. are doing it. So the, the show that we've got on on the 11th is going to be our stage and screen show. So it's our unique crossover twist on musical theatre, um, big screen numbers, opera, maybe a few surprises in there. So it's basically a bunch of our favourite things to yeah. see. Yeah. They're so modest, but they're, they're literally London's best kind of. Would you call it pop opera crossover? Where'd you put it? Oh, we're, we're still trying to think about that. Yeah, it's good. It's everything, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's, yeah, yeah, that's really you nice. You might have seen them on the main stage at West End Live yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Well, I'm a oh. rat's dress. Oh. Yeah. 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 And Kaylee, yeah. sitting there quietly. Very quietly yeah. in the corner, nervously. Um, yeah, I'm just. This is my, will be my first ever. Cabaret, wow. um, yeah, on my own. So I've been lurking in the ensemble of some shows uh, and been guest appearing for people. And Ian very kindly asked if I wanted to do my own show, and I scaredly said yes. Um, <laughs> I'm like, do I regret that now? But no, I am. I'm really excited. So I'm just doing my own show, kind of introducing myself to people, what I like to sing, parts I might want to play. Some music I just love and a bit about me so people can get to know me a bit better. But yeah, it's it's all new to me, so I'm very excited. For those who don't know, Kaylee's currently in Tina. Yes. Just casually in the West End. Yes, yeah, yeah, just casually. Oh, casual, casual, casual. <laughs> One of the biggest shows in the West End. Yeah. And I hosted West End Live Lounge, which is a great event if anyone wants to go to. It's fantastic at the other palace. And I've never heard Kaylee sing. And she literally blew the roof off the place. People said, I've got goosebumps, can you see them? <laughs> um, and that's what I say about introducing, not new people to this because she's yeah. very much established, but um, people that I personally think should, you need to have your own night, babe, you're amazing. So that's literally, so I'd never seen her and I was already kind of curating and putting ideas together and then Bob's your uncle, she's on a gig, and I'm like, that one. This voice is ridiculous. Oh, so, uh, and, and the, the venue is so intimate. I mean, yeah. for your first one, mm. 
I mean, I think it would be nice, <laughs> though. Yeah, will, I actually quite be like, like it. Everyone's wrapped around you as if yeah. they give you a bit of a hug. And I'm a kind yeah. of really yeah. that like, people who come actually want to be there. So, <laughs> like, you know, I'm not paying my family to come just yet. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully, it will be quite a warm atmosphere. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be really exciting. So. I think that's, um, because there's two ways of looking at that. Because when, when you, I love cabaret, and my, my background actually was musical theatre. So I did the West End back in 73 yeah. when I was in my 20s. And um, <laughs> I did a lot of shows and I kind of fell into cabaret by accident. And I remember the first time going out thinking, oh my God, they're going to be so close to me. Yeah. And it was at Madame Jojo's, you lot are way too young to remember what that is, but it was this fabulous old drag bar. But actually, when I went out for my very first show and they were all there and I could see them, and of course they're all, your first show is always your family and friends. Yeah. And they were just, yeah. <laughs> So actually that hug, you're exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Well, sometimes, when we, like you go on for a cover in town or you go on for yeah. a power, you're open in the show and you go out and all you see is black and thinking, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. So that hug, the cabaret hug, I'm going to keep yeah. that. Oh, yeah. 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 Good, yeah. I, I should have copyrighted it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so just, just tell us about the other performers that you've got. So you, there's 14 shows. It's 15 um, actually, 15 just count, shows. I thought there's 14. Mm, yeah. um, we have got, um, it's such a variety of the Ida girls are obviously their opera crossover, probably we're going to decide what it is. Um, <laughs> but then we also have the Jersey Quartet, which, which is like a four, um, four seasons kind of Frankie Valley type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but their own twist on that and they're four leading men in the West End so they're doing that then we have Fabulous Girl she hasn't really worked she's called Louise Dearman she's um, terrible terrible singer no joke she's watching um, she's, she's one of my best friends and that's why she's booked she can't sing her note and, um, and then also people like uh, got Kiki Deville who's fantastic she was um, kind of everyone got to know her on The Voice and she's a you probably call her a, a burlesque chanteur so she's this kind of larger than life character her, her show is called bare naked lady and um she will be almost i think um no i don't think she'll things be covering up but <laughs> there's um she's gonna be telling uh, the story of her life and career she's had a really wonderful and kind of sad life as well so that's going to be a heartbreaker but also wonderful then we also have oh eliza jackson who is doing a show called the voice behind the stars which is um the story of marnie nixon who's won the mold the most famous ghost singer. So uh, films like West Side Story, um, God, what else? My, My Fair Lady. Lady. Yeah. When the girls couldn't hit the notes or sing at all, yeah. she would um, be behind and she, she was the voice for many, many legendary shows and films and, and actresses. I can't think of who else. Should we look on the thing? Because I don't Cassie, want to miss. Cassie, we've got Cassie. Cassie Compton, who would who be here, would be but here, she's but just she a bit late for uh, for McCarthy. We've got Genevieve Nicole. She was going to be here, but this is show business. Um, last week, uh, she auditioned for Hairspray and she opens tonight. <laughs> or was it last night? Well, there is. Jane, I recognise this person. She's doing some little tiny show that hasn't sold very many tickets as well. Yeah, Jodie Steele. She's, again, another girl. Not a great singer. Oh, she's okay. a terrible, <laughs> terrible singer. No, oh, everyone say, break a leg. Tonight she opens. Yeah, it's a great night. So Jodie, Jodie is, is currently playing Heather Chandler. In Heather's at the other palace, which she's is insane. cracking. It's amazing. She is. We've got Tyrone Huntley for those who saw oh, Jesus Christ really? Superstar. We've got David Shannon who is playing Trunchbull. I'm really sweating now. Oh, Trunchbull yeah. over at Matilda. And oh, we've got Joel Harper Jackson, mm -hmm. another legend. He's going to be singing with Jodie. Their, their title of show is Jodie and Joel. It's great. Love alliteration. Yeah, yeah. And um, my show. My show's on. Yeah. Um, and oh, uh, I can never pronounce it properly because I've not met her in real life. Maya Muna. Mamuna. 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 Yeah, she, Mamuna. You know. Yeah. She's so, fabulous, but I don't know. I'm so sorry I mispronounced your name if you're watching. <laughs> She's with Tyrone, so they're doing a night together. And um, that's everyone. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Looking forward to it. So when's the first date? First date, and the first one is on the 8th of July, so that's a Sunday. And the first show is 5 p.m., and that's Cassie Compton. Okay, we've put a ticket link in the post, so you can go along to the website and grab your tickets. In the meantime, thank you so much, guys, for coming in. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I hope it all goes well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.